guys, this is day 19 of the Knowledge is Useless Challenge. As you know, uh, I, I am pregnant right now. I'm really inspired by, by that. And uh, I see it as a great uh, opportunity to expand my understanding of uh, what am I, I'm here for and uh, and to express it that to really embody it in my business and uh, that of course is embodied in these videos what what's a reflection of the day and what i want to share with you uh today i started uh, reading this uh, this book is uh, written by uh, an argentinian woman laura Got uh, gutman and the title uh, loosely translate uh, is uh, the family is born with the first child and uh, and I found that what she says is so relevant for heart center business owners and of course it's uh, extremely interesting even if I started today I am just uh, devouring really quickly uh, but I, I want to share with you one of the things and the thing that from my point of view is the most relevant of this book for business owners and heart center business owners. She talks about the shadow, the concept that Carl Jung created. Carl Jung talked about the, the shadow as that part of our personality that we never really want to see. That's where... Uh, envy resides, where jealousy resides, weak, uh, all our weaknesses, uh, our, um, you know, uh, self-criticism, self-denial, all those horrible things that we never want to be talking about, our wounds, our pains, or all the darkness, or our dark desires. And uh, of course, I find it really powerful that I'm talking about the shadow in this darkness because now I'm shooting really late at night. And uh, in this darkness, this darkness, you know, um, connects very well with the concept of the yin. That's, uh, 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 you know, the, 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 the totality of the, the yin and the yang. That's such an old concept that uh, it's really millenary. You certainly have seen the yin and the yang in uh, several representations. And the concept of the yin is, uh, is a part that uh, represents the closest to the shadow. And the yang is everything that is public, you know, being famous, making money, going to war, dressing a beautiful, sexy dress, having this fast car, you know, all the things that we think that we should be having and being all the time. And the part of the jing, we never talk about it, you know, because it's about crying, it's about... Uh, loneliness and being alone sometimes is not loneliness but being alone is uh, is quite different and sometimes we really forget uh, so uh, uh, this author says that uh, uh, during this process of transformation that uh, women uh, live um, they are confronted with their gene. They are absolutely confronted with their shadow. And uh, I really see entrepreneurship like that. And I see that in business, quite often we are forced to look at the shadow sides of our personality. You know, when a customer, uh, uh, when we get a hate email, when a customer complains, when we see a competitor being better than we are, um, all those things really generate negative emotions in us. And uh, we, look, we get into a world that, uh, where we, we don't want to be really. So, um, uh, and we don't want to be there. So we just push ourselves outside and we put a happy sticker in our feelings. So we're supposed to be happy and we're supposed to be positive and we force ourselves to be happy. We switch on the light you know, and we keep pushing uh, in the direction that we said that we should be going. 
uh, I chose this target market, I'll continue doing that. Uh, I, uh, whatever uh, learning that we could be having in our business just doesn't happen because we're not allowing ourselves to get into those negative feelings. And uh, she expresses so beautifully that, uh, uh, have you noticed when there are two rooms and uh, one room is in darkness and one do room is lit? When you go to the room with loads of light and you look towards the room that is in darkness, you cannot see anything. This is what happens when we are in, in the world, in our life, in a business that is really fast paced, really active and really outside focus, really driven. It's very difficult to look into the subtle matters. In, actually, in, it's very difficult to see into the things that actually do matter. So, Uh, um, uh, instead, when we move to the room that is dark, what we see is everything. When you sit in a dark room, we, you see everything that is there in the dark room and everything that is there in the lit room. So when we said our uh, uh, intention or our uh, presence in that shadow side of ourselves, we are able to look at what is our shadow and what is outside the shadow, what is in the lead area. And this just matches very well with what we've been talking about in previous videos. You know the story of Baba Jaga when this girl goes into the woods. When you are in the woods, you can look in the woods and outside the woods. But when you're outside, you cannot look into the woods. So uh, this is one once again, the invitation to get yourself into the deeper side of yourself. And don't be afraid of uh, looking at the dark side of what is happening in your business and in your soul. You know, I, I, I really love to give the example of envy because that is this, the scene that has helped me the most. Whenever I feel negative emotion, any of them, uh, anger, envy, sadness, uh, is always a great indication that that's a path where I need to learn. That's a path where I need to grow. Um, so I have created this envy map. So you can create the anger map of the sadness map and say, really, what is what you envy? What makes you angry? What is, what is that thing that is giving you negative emotions? Is it people? Is it competitors? Is it the way how people look at you? What, what is it? Look at it. See it. When you look at that dark, uh, darkness, at that shadow, and you see it in front of you, it will lose power and will empower you back. So you will be able to say, aha, uh -huh, this is actually what I should be doing. Or this is actually what I shouldn't be doing. My example, I envy it very much. Pe people who will create content very often. I envy it so much people who will uh, interview other people online. I did my envy map and that those were my conclusions. Create content and interview experts. And as soon as I realized I started targeted to take action, all envy vanished. I was able to even uh, talk to these people who I envied in the past and tell them thank you for the inspiration. <laughs> So I just, just take the feeling, whatever negative feeling it is. Get yourself into the dark room. Don't be afraid. It's really full of gold, really. The dark, the darkness, the shadow is full of gold for you. Enjoy.